Hi there, everybody. Uh, this is Endgamer Azari, or Doug, as you can just call me, because that's a lot simpler. And um, I'm trying something out here. Uh, if you're like me, um, well, for one, I pity you, but uh, that's kind of beside the point. Uh, if you're like me, you don't know anything about beer, but you like beer and want to try different beers, but it's a kind of a crapshoot because you end up buying some and if it really sucks then you're out a bunch of money or you just gotta force yourself to swallow something that tastes like paint thinner. So what I am proposing is I'm going to start doing a series of beer reviews called the Ugly Mug because I think self-deprecation is the highest form of humor. So I'm um, just gonna jump right in. I have with next to me Six beers I picked up from my local store. Uh, they were doing one of those, um, you know, make your own six pack. I have never tried any of these before, so your reac my reactions are going to be straight off the cuff. So you may see me spit beer at the screen. I will try to be a little more reserved than that, but these could be really awful. And if this takes off, if people like are interested in this and like hearing about different beers, um, I'll. Try to make things a little fancier, um, do things a little more in-depth, do a little more research, uh, a bunch of just general, maybe take requests from people, uh, say, you know, hey, you should try this and tell us what you think of it. Um, I'm not going to be talking anything fancy because, like I said, I really don't know that much about beer technically. I know what I like, I think. Um, I know how things taste, I, and, you know, how then I can... I was an English major, so I'm pretty good with descriptions. Um, sometimes it may involve profanity if it's really bad, but, you know, that's still description. This is going to be like a wine tasting. Um, I went, on, went to one of those recently, and they're telling me, oh, this is all, this is very tannic, or I forget what the terms I use, but, like, why don't you just say it tastes like vinegar that's been run through a shop rag. So, um... You know, this is going to be just a no-nonsense, you know, hey, I like this, you might like it too, sort of show. And uh, so, without further ado, let's, I'll show you what I've got here today. I've got Fade to Black Ale by the Left Hand Brewing Company. And I don't know if this is going to be mirrored when it's played back, so um, I apologize if it's weird. Uh, let's see. Abita Purple Haze. Royal Jamaican Alcoholic Ginger Beer. Uh, Heavy Seas uh, Cutlass, which is a amber lager. I'm looking forward to that one. Uh, Thirsty Dogs uh, Twisted Kilt. And one that I've seen a lot for a long time and I've wanted to try. Old Rasputin. It's an Imperial Stout. So, you know, let's just start with that. Pop this one open. And we'll see how this goes. I'm just going to, you know, take a couple swallows and stuff. I'm not going to drink a whole bottle here in front of you on screen. Because going through six bottles would leave me, would take a while for one, and would probably leave me significantly inebriated. And that something for the sake of my public image and professional career I would like to avoid having on camera. So let's see how old Rasputin fares. Adjust the camera here a little bit so you can see. Okay, yeah, it's definitely a stout. It's pretty bitter, but not as bitter as I thought it would be. It's got a bit of a bitter aftertaste, but a lot of stouts like this I've found do. It's almost a coffee taste at the end. It's kind of like an off-brand Guinness, which, um, you know, I was never a big fan of Guinness, to be honest, but maybe it's just my palate hasn't been refined enough yet. So, Old Rasputin. Very bitter, but um, I'll probably finish it. Clean, clear my palate here. I don't want to get any cross-contamination between the different beers. Because then it might kind of screw up my my uh, 
a sense of taste. All right, let's try the uh, Royal Jamaican ginger beer next. I, I've never actually had real ginger beer because I'm American and that's not something that we get too much over here. Um, so I have absolutely no idea if this is going to taste like ginger ale or what. That would be interesting. I tell you, I was disappointed with the root beer flavored chops I got the other day, the other month. All right, let's see what this is like. Alcoholic ginger beer brewed with ginger. Producing the finest Jamaican ginger. All right, let's see what this does. Wow. Okay. Whew. <clears throat> yeah, you can taste. You can definitely tell that there's ginger in that. But this is this is a pleasant surprise. It's actually quite sweet, uh, though it does burn. It is ginger after all. Yeah, oh, that'll clear your sinuses out. But it's uh, yeah, wow, that's uh, pretty good. It's very light. Um, you can't tell it's alcoholic, but with most beers, you can't. Um, and I apologize for the background noise. My roommate's cat is trying to dig her way under the door, and I can't stop her, so I'm just going to ignore her. So, um, yeah, Royal Jamaican. This is a good one. I'm gonna finish this one probably pretty soon. <laughs> Very, very drinkable. It's not a. It's not one of those beers you got to kind of slog your way through in order to get to the bottom of the bottle, which I'm afraid Old Rasputin might be. Yeah, all right. Let's see what's up next. Um, okay, this one, the fade to black. I am a little nervous about. Um, well, I like ales in general. Um, some of the darker ales can be really gross to my taste, especially IPAs. Um, I don't know if you know India Pale Ales technically count as ales. I think they're technically a separate category. But like I said, once again, I don't really know a lot of the you know technicalities about a lot of uh, technical terms about a lot of beers. Um, but I'm gonna probably do some research as it, as this goes along to figure out you know so I can give a better educational experience. So. Let's try this fade to black ale. Oh yeah, that smells really bitter, really, really dark. All right, here we go. Yeah, um, weird. Yeah, this one isn't going to make my top ten, but, uh, huh. That's odd. Because it's really bitter, like the old Rasputin was, but it doesn't have nearly as much of an aftertaste. In fact, the aftertaste is practically non-existent. Um, which is good because that's the kind of thing that usually gets me about these uh, really dark beers is that that t weird taste is in the back of your mouth. It's like kind of like when you throw up and you can't get rid of it. But um, Fade to Black doesn't overstay its welcome, at least. I wouldn't call it a favorite, but um, I've certainly drank worse. All right. Now we're getting to some of the fun ones. Here we're gonna have Twisted Kilt, which is by Thirsty Dog, which I think are they local? They might be local or semi-local. Uh, let's see what we got here. This is a Scottish style expert ale. I have no idea what an expert ale is, to be honest, and uh but Scottish stuff generally Scottish beer tends to be pretty good, so. Compared to the other ones, this is pretty neutral. There's a hint of something there, but it's 
Otherwise, it, it's very it's a very beer taste. It it's um, not that different from you know your standard domestics. It tastes like it's made better, but it's still got that sort of light. This is a beer you could probably drink a lot of um, at a time if you really wanted to. It's not the most pleasant taste. Um, it's even a little. It's a little chemically almost, but um, it's not a very beer. It, it it tastes like beer at first, but it's got this kind of tang to it that I can't quite place. Scottish style export ale. No, I read that wrong. I'm stupid. Export ale gets its unique flavor and aroma through special time consuming, extra long, and vigorous boil. Caramelization blends perfectly with the multi flavor of roasted barley and complementing hops. That must be what it is. It's probably the barley that I'm tasting. Raise a glass. This is a very drinkable ale to any occasion. I'll give them that. It is pretty drinkable. Um, that's the kind of thing I could get in a pint or a big mug at a bar, probably. Managed to get most of it down. Um, which I honestly can't say that for a while. Um, there we've got two left. Next up, I think I'm going to do Cutlass. So, all right, Cutlass. This is by Heavy Seas, and um, a lot of their all pretty much all their beers are pirate or nautical themed. Um, I think they have like a micro brew I saw there called like Small Craft Warning. Um, I think they might have one called Keel Hall. Uh, yeah, a bunch of just, you know, it's, it's one of those themed breweries, which, which are pretty cute actually. And, you know, let's see how this is. This is an amber, this is an amber lager, which um, I'm a big fan of. Um, things like uh, Dos Equis. Um, I'm, I'm a bit more of a lager man than an ale man, I think. Um, uh, loggers, in my experience, don't have that much of a uh, that big of an aftertaste to them. So, let's see. Hmm. Again, this is one that doesn't really jump out at you. It's obviously pretty well crafted. But it's not a head turner. It's not a. Uh, it's not like a delicacy. It's it's a it's good. It's it's not bad. Definitely not bad. Mm. Oh yeah, these guys are out of uh, Baltimore, so they're not not local. But you know, come to think of it, let's what's what's thirsty dog? Where are they? Uh, yeah, Thirsty Dog is actually brewed in Akron, um, which is not far from where I am. But uh, but they they sell in several states, so it's not a hard find if you're in the Midwest. I think. Oh well, I'm not here to advertise. I'm here to criticize. And we're down to one, which is good because my bottle of Powerade is empty. This one is the one I'm looking forward to the most. Purple Haze. A malt beverage with raspberries added. Bottled by the Abita Brewing Company, LLC, Abita Springs, LA. Alright, let's give her a go. I can get my, <laughs> get my opener under there. This thing's kind of dinky. All right, here's the last one of the night. Smell something interesting in there. Mm, that's a bit disappointing. You can tell there's fruit in there, but it's it's almost like a background, like a. Like, if the regular beer taste is, say, a big solid, like a rectangle or a square or something, the raspberry flavor is just a very thin uh, outline around it. 
I know that barely makes sense, but if it does at all, but it's the best way I can think of it. It's it's sort of a bordering taste. It's not present. That's one of the things I, you know, this might make me a complete beer wuss, but one of the things I don't like that much about these beers that, you know, advertise themselves as fruit flavored is that you can rarely ever taste the fruit. You can taste like, you know, the hops and the barley and the weed. And, you know, is this a wheat beer? Real raspberries added after filtration. Brewed with Pilsner and wheat malts and Vanguard hops. Beers that a fruit aroma, tartly sweet taste, and a subtle purple color and haze. Maybe it's still fruit pulp in the beer. Uh, I don't. But it's, you know, it's not, again, it's not bad. None of these beers here tonight have been, you know, been, you know, painful to swallow, though. Old Rasputin and Fade to Black are probably going down the drain before anything else. Um, I'll try this one more time. Yeah, the the raspberry taste is almost like a smell to it, like a background, like a it's like a background flavor. There's not much sweet. It's like it's been a while since I had raspberries, but the um, it's kind of like the seed. It tastes like a raspberry seed as opposed to an actual raspberry. So, um. All in all, uh, I think my favorite tonight was, surprisingly, the uh, Royal Jamaican Alcoholic Ginger Beer. Oh, man, that burns. But it burns good. It tastes good. Very sweet. Very, uh... <sighs> okay, maybe I won't be able to finish that, because that is pretty, pretty, uh, pretty spicy. Um, so... You know, I don't have a catch, well, I had a catchphrase in mind, actually, but I don't have a real big send-off or anything, but um, I'll put this on my Tumblr, and um, anyone who sees it, all, you know, 130 of you who follow me, of which I think only like a dozen of you are active, um, just uh, shoot me some, uh, send me an ask um, about, you know, different kinds of beers that you've been interested in, or that you've tried and you want me to try, um, or just general, if... If I don't hear anything, I'll just pick six random ones again. This time I might try to do smaller videos because I know this one's running on almost about uh, almost 20 minutes, and nobody wants to look at me drink things for that long. But um, but uh, we'll see how this goes. So um, you know, thanks for watching, and uh, turn in tune in next time for the next ugly mug where I drink it so you don't have to. <laughs>